I have this buyer who is always buying from my farm all the time. But you come and complain to me that the market is no good, I should reduce my prices for him to be able to afford the animals. I'll not reduce it. He'll buy it, go and sell, come back to me to buy another one and tell me the same old story that the market is no good. So I told him that if the market is no good actually, I think you have to pause. Pause your activities, the selling of the pitch, pause it and then let another person step in, let's see. He will not agree, but he will still come back and complain after getting the pig. Not knowing this guy goes there, makes a huge amount from these uh, animals. I sell to like 20, 25 cities per kilo. He will go and process the pork and sell it for 45 cities. He will come back and complain to me that the market is no good. I know that he goes there and takes like uh, 3 weeks to sell them, uh, the pork. Two days is done, you call me, I will be somewhere in town, you call me on the phone. I'm bringing your money to you. I hope if I bring the money, I'll be able to get another one. I say yes, but at a, uh, this time I'm at a, a bit higher price. Are you ready to afford it? Oh no, 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 you know, it's just been two days and you are going to. I say no, Charlie. This is it. The market is no good. The feed prices is also, also stable. I'm in town now, as I'm talking to you, I want to buy it, a, a bag of this feed. And this is how much it costed. So the market is not also favoring all of us. So do you really think if the buyer, as is, he said, if he's not been able to get the uh, people to buy, he will be coming to him regularly. So these buyers, they come to you, they, they frame it in such that they, they struggle more than you, the one producing the animals. So if you are too emotional in terms of uh, business, like in business, you never deal with emotions in business. Your family member, if they owe you some amount, find me to collect the money from them. Yes. If you want to be doing like a bit two millions with them because they are family members or they are your friends and they tell you emotions don't play in business. If you do that, you quickly collapse your farm. When they don't want to pay to you, they'll go some, some, somewhere else and go and buy them and pay, not even buy on credit, so they'll go and buy and pay on cash. So emotions don't play in business. You need to be focused on it, be a businessman. After you have collected this money from them, and then you can go back and start with your normal relations. If maybe you are family members, you start talking about family issues. But make sure you always collect your money from them if they owe you. I remember when I started this pork sharing, I slaughtered the pork and started distributing to the, those who have registered. I have four of my close friends who also come and sign up. Sign up that they want the pork. But this people, first, the first attempt, two of them paid. Two didn't pay. Second attempt, they came. This same four people came. Now, three didn't pay. One paid. You know what? I asked them for the money. They were dragging it tomorrow, tomorrow next, Friday, Monday. I didn't complain. I just sat down quite now. I knew, I knew that yes, these people, they can be of service to me in this direction. So I hired them to do some work for me. After they did the work, I balanced them. I took my man pork uh, money from them and I gave them the balance. So from there, they themselves came to tell me that anytime I have work, they would like to work for me in exchange for the meat. You see it? But assuming I just kept quiet and allowed them to be doing all that they do, they collect it, they wear it, and then they relax whilst I'll be running at a loss. Do you think they would have told me that they would be working for me and then getting pork in return? No. So business, no emotions. If you are to collect five cities from the person, if they give you a four cities, 90 pesos, stop collect the 10 pesos. Ask them for the 10 pesos. Make sure you collect the money from them. If money is involved, collect the money first. No shyness. Look at them in their eyes, collect the money. Let them feel the pain. And like I said, if buyers come to your farm and you're the, you the farmer, you look like moody, you look so slow, you're like, you're not active and they see you to be like desperate in some sense. Forget it. They have taken advantage of you already. So you need to let them know you believe in what you're producing. This is how much I'm expecting to get from these animals. This is how much I charge. I know there are some exceptions where you can't do that, but on a normal circumstance, you have to collect how much you need to collect from them. Otherwise, let your animals be on your farm. Be tough, especially if people are owing you. Be tough to collect your money back from them before it is too late. Your farm needs to survive. And for it to survive, you need money to keep investing in it. Especially if it is livestock and you need money to buy your feed all the time for the animals. And that you can't keep putting your personal money into it, and people will be taking the animals from your farm for slaughter for their own gains and not giving you money to keep investing in the farm. Your farm will not be sustainable in the long term and it will collapse definitely. Why these people go another farm and go and source for the animals and pay them on cash? No emotions, collect it from them, 
make it firm to them that you are collecting the money. 